President Putin has been defending what he describes as the special operation in Ukraine at a rally held in Moscow. To liberate people from this uh, suffering, from the genocide, is the main, uh, main inspiring motive of, of the military operation we uh, started in Donbas and in Ukraine. This is the the objective. This is the aim. And you know, I remember these uh, words from from the Bible. There is no other love rather than if uh, someone gives soul for their friends. Words from the scriptures. And we are seeing the heroic deeds of our guys in this operation. That event was broadcast on Russian TV. It had a delay of about 30 minutes from when it began. And the state television coverage of President Putin's speech came to a rather abrupt end. Do take a look. Mr. Putin there cut off in mid-sentence. The coverage reverted to an earlier performance. Well, our correspondent who was at the stadium tells us that the speech did continue after that for those who were in the stadium. Well, it's time now for a look at what's been happening in Ukraine in all of the last few hours. Our correspondent in Kiev is James Waterhouse. He sent us this report. The closest this war has got to the western city of Lviv, four miles away towards the airport an aircraft repair plant hit with missiles launched from the Black Sea. The enemy's strike against Lviv is further proof that it doesn't fight Ukrainian troops, it fights its people. Children, women, refugees, nothing is sacred for them. In Kyiv, Russia's advance is being frustrated by Ukrainian resistance. Take revenge for peaceful cities, this poster reads. One soldier helps himself to ammunition, dropped by invading troops. Yet they haven't been able to surround Kyiv like they have in other cities, but people still aren't safe. It's been another morning where a residential area like this has been hit by fragments of an intercepted missile. It's left the likes of Yevhen to pick up the pieces. My parents got this flat when I was three years old back in 1964. I celebrated my third birthday here. I lived all my life here, all my life. I got married here. My two children were born here. In the southern port city of Mariupol, almost every building has been damaged from relentless shelling. Military experts think the city could fall within weeks. Rescue teams are still trying to get to people trapped in a theater, bombed earlier this week while more than a thousand sheltered inside. It looks like uh, the bomb shelter weren't damaged, but people cannot get out from there because we cannot uh, clean the rubble because uh, artillery fires and it's uh, really very dangerous. Volodymyr Zelensky and Vladimir Putin say they're both willing to sit with each other and negotiate peace. For many Ukrainians, the idea of making concessions to this conflict's aggressor in chief is not a popular one. They've already paid a high cost. In Rivna, in the west, five soldiers are laid to rest. The pain ingrained on the faces of those they leave behind. James Waterhouse, BBC News, in Kiev. An overview by James there of what's going on across the country. Well, here in Lviv, we're getting the last of the afternoon light. It'll be evening and curfew soon, but people have been going about their normal lives, and they've also wanted to make protests. So a little earlier, we, our team went down to the central square, and they saw this. They saw buggies, strollers, lined up in one of the squares there. There were more than 100 of them. And they represent, according to Ukraine, the number of children who have been killed since Russia began its invasion on the 24th of February. Uh, a point that people in Lviv have been wanting to make, and they made this point on the day that an airstrike hit this city, just four miles from the center of town. We all awoke to see a plume of black smoke. That smoke dissipated, and people then went about their jobs, 
In a few hours' time, there'll be a curfew where people will once again return to their homes and await the howl of air raid sirens which have been going off in the early hours for the last few days.